Through the world of Dolua, Lu Ching awakened the emotional treasure box system. As long as it causes emotional fluctuations, you can obtain a treasure chest. Among various emotions, Lu Ching chose to let people break through their defenses. So Lu Ching. Blue silver grass plus paralysis plus entanglement equals numbness in the grass. Tang San, with a twitching face. Calm down, when I surpass him in strength, I must let him taste the power of his mother's entanglement. Ding, the golden treasure chest plus one. Lu Cheng. The love brain is not deep in love, it is intellectually disabled. If you have a disease, we will treat it. Bibi Dong, taking a deep breath. Bibi Dong, calm down. This is your disciple. If you kill him, there won't be a second one. Ding, diamond chest plus one. Yu Xiaojiang said, there are no useless martial souls, only useless soul masters. Lu Cheng. Are you introducing yourself? Ding, the golden chest plus one. Keywords of the novel. Doluo. If someone breaks the defense, I become stronger. No pop-ups, Doluo. If someone breaks the defense, I become stronger. Download the complete set of TXT, Doluo. If someone breaks the defense, I become stronger. Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Holy Soul Village. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Holy Soul Village, Harem, please leave if you don't like it, the introduction cannot indicate the harem, please forgive me, Holy Soul Village. On the big stone at the entrance. A little boy wearing coarse cloth clothes, about five years old, is lying on it, bored and sunbathing. Alas, how could you cross to the Dolua continent? The boy glanced at the wooden sign hanging at the entrance of the village, and the three characters, Holy Soul Village, stood out, sighing helplessly. His name is Lu Cheng. He is a traveler. Five years ago, when he woke up again, he found himself transformed into a baby. Abandoned at the doorstep of a household. Then, he was shocked to find that the world he was in was Dolua continent. Because of the family that adopted him. During the conversation, iconic words such as, Lord of the Martial Soul Hall, Awakening Ceremony, and, Holy Soul Village, were mentioned, which are the holy sites for travelers. Even though this world is jokingly referred to as a fantasy sewer by netizens. But for Lu Ching today, he is full of danger and could die suddenly at any time. Holy Soul Village, there are only two great Buddhas hidden over the past five years, he was trembling and afraid of provoking the Tang God King to anger. He led the way, saying, you already have a way to take death. He was then targeted and there was no peace from then on. Unfortunately, what a pity. Lu Cheng looked up at the sky and sighed deeply. If it were Xiao Yan, he would have gone up to call himself brothers and made early investments, but Tang Shen Wang. He really dares not. As the saying goes breaking through the vast expanse of the continent, who can't see the old medicine without delivering cigarettes. Dolua Dalu is as deep as the sea, even stepping on Gangzi. There is a medicine elder in the endless fire domain, but there is no Jade Xiaojiang in the divine realm. Gangzi's fate is vividly remembered, while also reminding Lu Cheng that investing is not only about talent, but also about character and became the brother of Xiao Yan. Just like Director Qi. A person who gains the way, a chicken and a dog ascend to heaven. Joining the ranks of fellow villagers and becoming civil servants are both basic skills. The dogs in the village have to be police dogs. Rolling pin, you have to raise a baton. However, ultimately, the strength is still too weak. Other travelers all have golden finger grandpa and systems, why don't I have them? Lu Cheng sighed softly. Five years have passed, and his adoptive parents have been very kind to him, treating him as their biological son. But if you want to survive in the Divine King continent, if you don't have any strength, you'll have to finish it sooner or later. Ding, feeling the host's strong desire for strength, the system is awakening. Hmm. Lu Cheng widened his eyes. 
Ding, the emotional treasure box system is currently binding. Ding, binding successful. Ding, this system is dedicated to collecting various characters' emotions and evaluating their weight based on their strength and identity. Finally, the host gains a treasure chest. With excitement, Lu Cheng listened to the system introduction. Actually, it's just an emotion collection system. As long as Lu Cheng causes others to experience emotional fluctuations, including fear, shock, joy, or anger. You can obtain bronze, silver, gold, diamonds, and a royal treasure chest. And different people determine the level of the treasure chest based on their strength, identity, and weight. Give me a chestnut. If it were for an ordinary person without soul power, even like old strategist who was shocked 800 times a day, he would still open a bronze treasure chest to the sky. But if it is a ban dolua, even a super dolua, simple emotional fluctuations will also be a golden start, without a cap. Not bad, not bad. Lu Qingle's eyebrows widened and his eyes smiled. Just as I was about to conduct a few experiments, I caught a glimpse of a group of five or six-year-old kids, playfully playing and walking towards the village entrance. Just a few of you. Lu Qing waved his hand and a group of children swarmed around. Because the psychological age does not match the physical age, Lu Qing belongs to the big brother among these little brats. Well, I'm not pretending anymore, I'm going to have a showdown. Lu Qing said slowly. Actually, I can do divination and know all the secrets of the world. Children. After a moment, a little boy asked in confusion. Cheng, what is divination? 4. Forget that this word doesn't exist in this world. Lu Qing awkwardly coughed twice, it's not important. What's important is that I know everything. Then he looked at the little boy with a serious expression and changed the topic. Like you. Lu Cheng pretended to touch his chin and pondered for a moment before slowly speaking. It's raining the ground is slippery, what's your father's surname? What's your surname? Sai. The little boy was lost in thought. My surname is Bai. My father's surname is also Bai. Sai. The little boy suddenly looked up, his face full of shock. Oh really? The children next to them were also amazed. Oh my goodness, Brother Cheng is so accurate. How did he know? Too handsome, isn't it? Ding, feel a sense of shock. Ding, we are obtaining the treasure chest. Ding, acquisition failed. Lu Cheng listened to the prompt sound of the system and felt a little regretful. Six people, not a single treasure chest fell. But it's not over yet. Lu Cheng glanced at the little boy again and said mysteriously. The setting sun shines on the east wall, your father's daughter dot in dot law. You have to call yourself mother dot. Ah. There's nothing wrong with it. Really, my goodness, brother Cheng really knows everything. Ding, feel a sense of shock. Ding. We are obtaining the treasure chest. Ding, obtain the bronze treasure chest. Hush. Upon hearing the system prompt, Lu Cheng's eyes lit up. Shipped. All right, let's play. Lu Cheng waved his hand and rushed the children who looked at him with eyes that were almost like divine beings, to play around. Then I eagerly opened the system. Ding, do you want to open the treasure chest? Lu Cheng rubbed his hands and looked eagerly at the system panel, where a bronze treasure chest was wrapped in complex and intricate patterns, prominently displayed in the most prominent position. On the far left side of the panel, there are also bronze, silver, gold, diamonds, and the number of king's treasure chests. Of course, only the bronze treasure chest has X1 next to it, while the others have X0. Open. According to the rules, opening a treasure chest belongs to luck. Even for the same type of treasure chest, there are multiple possibilities, such as currency, soul power, soul beast cubs, soul guides, and so on in this world. There is no top, bottom. Well, there is no bottom. Ding, 
Congratulations to the host for obtaining one golden soul coin, which has been deposited into the host's own two cubic meters of space. Sigh. It's okay, after all, the cost is too low. Lu Ching quickly calmed down, I can get so much from those little brats, I've already made a lot of money. In this world. One gold soul coin equals 10 silver soul coins equals 100 copper soul coins, which is equivalent to the normal expenses of an ordinary family of three for several months. Converted to the real world, it may only be around 1000 renminbi, but the wealth gap in this world is like a ravine, which can barely be said to pass. After all, in the real world, if you eat white flour mantu and dip it in clean water, you can live for a thousand. Price of small county town, Lu Cheng was about to call these children back to brush the treasure chest, but his eyes lit up. Not far from the village gate, a thin and small boy wearing coarse linen clothes is walking quickly towards here. Tang Shenwang. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Starts with the Battle of the Tang God King. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 starts with the Battle of the Tang God King. Lu Cheng's eyes narrowed slightly. This treasure chest is weighted based on the status, identity, and strength of the emotional provider. Although Tang Shenwang is currently weak, his future achievements, not to mention his character, are definitely unique in this world. Moreover, his father is still the youngest title Dolua on the mainland today, and the Haokian sect has been invisible for three generations. No matter how bad it is, the treasure chest that has been exposed should not be lower than silver. Lu Ching touched his chin and let out a mischievous laugh. Then catch the Tang God King and give him a fierce beating. This kid always looks like he shouldn't get close to strangers. When practicing martial arts, he always runs to the hills behind the mountain and begs a group of people. Although Lu Cheng knows that he has been practicing the martial arts he brought in his previous life, he has never followed up and watched them. Nonsense, he doesn't think his life is short. But now the God-slaying king plan is launched. Zaya Sanzi, are you back from practicing? Lu Cheng jumped off the stone and walked towards Tang San with a smile on his face. Tang San Gang had just come down from the back mountain and was secretly pondering why Xian Tian Gong could not break through the bottleneck of the first level, so he stopped moving forward. He relied on the purple qi to come from the east and could only practice in the morning. His purple extreme magic eyes improved rapidly, but Xian Tian Gong could not break through and even affected Xuan Yu hand. Just as he was struggling in his heart, he suddenly saw Lu Cheng walking towards him and calling him his nickname. Little mistress. Tang San frowned and regained his composure from his previous thoughts. He looked at Lu Cheng with a smile on his face and was momentarily bewildered. In the past, everyone used to avoid offending the river when it entered the water. This person was the child king of Holy Soul Village, but he did not deliberately provoke himself. But today, suddenly appearing so familiar, is there any purpose behind it? Wait, practice. Tang San suddenly felt a sudden surge in his heart. Did he know that he was practicing martial arts in the back mountain? With his eyes slightly fixed, Tang San looked at Lu Cheng with a smile on his face, calmly wrapping his right hand in a layer of white jade, and his murderous heart froze. This is Tang Men martial arts, it cannot be passed on to others. As for him stealing martial arts. Um, 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 um. Um, 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 but Tang Sansian didn't take action because there were many pedestrians coming and going at the entrance of Holy Soul Village. Taking action represented breaking ties with the village. He was a bigger kid and didn't have much capital to say anything. Of course, this is only under the premise that he does not know Tang Hao's strength. If he knew, it would be a face on his face. Ding, feel the shock. Ding, start extracting the treasure chest. Ding, 
successful extraction, gold chest X1, do you want to claim it? The smile on Lu Chang's face grew stronger, and his heart became more excited. He truly deserves to be the king of Tang, the protagonist involved in the world's cause and effect line. This drop of treasure is just arrogance. Just a golden treasure chest without knowing what good things are inside as the two of them approached, Tang San whispered and asked, his eyes fixed on Lu Cheng, hoping to see something from his reaction. What do you know? Ah, uh, what do you know? Lu Cheng's clear gaze was full of confusion. What are you talking about, mistress? What you said about practicing? Hi, what you're talking about is that you exercise by running long distances every day, running a few laps around the village. Isn't that practicing martial arts? Upon hearing this, Tang Sankai breathed a slight sigh of relief. Looking at Lu Cheng with a bewildered expression on his face, the white jade on his hand slowly dissipated, revealing its original appearance. Children cannot deceive people, especially those around the age of six who have flaws in every word and action. Whether they lie or not can be easily seen at a glance. What's up with me? Tang San spoke in anger, which really scared him just now. Oh, nothing, just idle and bored, wanting to play with you. Lu Ching smiled foolishly. Anyway, his current identity is a six-year-old child, and this neurotic behavior is very in line with his identity as a little brat. Busy, no time. After Tang San finished speaking, he turned around and left. He also had to cook for his father and practice forging iron. Besides, he was still an adult in his heart and had no intention of playing with a little kid. Lu Ching saw Tang San walking far away before returning to the previous stone to lie down and take a nap. He actually wanted to pull up a few more, but the system did not allow it. Just as the golden treasure chest was being released, the system prompted that each person could only release one treasure chest per day, and the time would only refresh in the early morning of the next day. The plan to catch Tang San Meng fiercely collect wool, and continue to develop in the village, was shattered. But it's not a big problem, Lu Cheng said that Tang Shen Wang cannot escape his palm. Let's take a look at the golden treasure chest first. Ding, do you want to open the treasure chest? Open. Lu Ching lay on the stone, closed his eyes, and observed that there was no one around him before silently reciting in his heart. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining innate soul power plus one. Current innate soul power. Six, plus one, what kind of thing? Lu Ching widened his eyes suddenly, but could he still increase his innate soul power? You should know that this is not simply adding one soul power, but adding one innate soul power, and there is a fundamental difference between the two. Simply adding one soul power means that adding one soul power is not beneficial for anything else. But the addition of one innate soul power symbolizes the addition of one innate talent. As mentioned in the original work, when the martial soul awakens, the amount of soul power is crucial, determining the starting point of the soul master's cultivation. The higher the innate soul power, the faster the cultivation speed in the day after tomorrow. It is truly a golden treasure chest. Lu Cheng's heart was filled with joy, and the corners of his mouth revealed his restless mood. It's so useful. I can only say that I truly deserve to be the god king of Tang. Even if it can only be done once a day, it's enough. Lu Cheng calmed down and calculated the time. There is still about half a month left until the person from the Martial Soul Hall awakens his Martial Soul, and he still has more than a dozen opportunities. Among them, as long as he opens three more times, he can raise his innate soul power to the full level. However, my original innate soul power is not low either. Level 6 is considered to be above average. You should know that in this world, the majority are commoners, who have zero innate soul power and cannot cultivate. Level 1 is already enough to shake off the vast majority of people. And Lu Cheng's level 6 is beyond the reach of countless people, even if placed in the Martial Soul Hall or the Seven Great Masters, it is worth cultivating. So Lu Cheng frowned slightly, 
his identity may not be simple however, this is not something he should worry about now. Currently, improving his strength is the main focus, and everything else is set aside. Lu Cheng touched his chin and his face was full of seriousness. This world is not a legal society of later generations, and the class aristocracy is like a mountain pressing on the heads of ordinary people, making it difficult for people to breathe. Soul masters possess the power to overcome mountains and seas. In the face of ordinary people, they can trample and kill at will, and the powerful can treat the lives of ordinary people like dogs. So, in order to survive in this world, strength is essential. So, let's start by making Tang San stronger. Lu Cheng looked at Tang San's thin back as he walked away, with a smile on his lips. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Divine King Quality Inspector. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Divine King Quality Inspector. Two weeks later, Lu Cheng lay leisurely on a large stone. Glancing at the system panel with a grin, unable to suppress joy. The innate soul power grid is impressive as, 6, plus 4, obviously, he has already, brushed, the innate soul power to the full level. Just like playing games against monsters, a sense of upgraded happiness arises naturally. This week, he did his best to cultivate Tang San's mentality. Whether Tang San goes to the back mountain for cultivation or practicing forging iron, Lu Cheng will appear around him with a mysterious presence, even including Tang San using the toilet in the pit. Tang San was almost depressed, and seeing him was like seeing a ghost, hiding more happily than a rabbit. I couldn't catch them in the last two days, as if they had disappeared. Lu Cheng looked down at the panel with unfinished thoughts. Soul Coin Gold Soul Coin X27 Silver Soul Coin X0 Copper Soul Coin X0 This is what he collected from the children in the village, which can be considered as the starting fund for going to school. The parents in the village are ordinary people and cannot provide him with much, so the next path will depend on him. And money is the passport to this world, of course, the strong do not need it. Lu Cheng continued to cast his gaze towards the next column. First Soul Ring Age 425 years, plus 1734 years, Second Soul Ring Age Not yet activated, suddenly, my hands couldn't help but itch again, wishing to go and collect the wool of the Tang God King again. That's right, this is the emotional treasure box he collected from the Tang God King. The things opened inside, besides innate soul power, are the increase in the age of soul rings. As for the other treasures, they haven't been pulled out yet. But it's already very satisfying. After all, these were all added in the later stages of Dolua Continent through the Sea God Trial. In the original work, the protagonist team worked tirelessly, and if it weren't for the protagonist's aura, they almost died there, which was why they finally received these bonuses and for myself, it was so easy to obtain suddenly, the sound of the carriage wheels rolling over the ground echoed from far to near. A gentle voice sounded. Child, is this holy soul village? Well, who are you looking for here? Lu Cheng lazily opened his eyes and asked. Come here. For a trip. The voice hesitated for a moment before continuing with a hint of mockery. What's there to transfer to this rotten holy soul village? It's better to go to Notting City if you want to transfer. Lu Qing lazily opened his eyes and saw a young man in white overalls, with a fist-sized soul character in the middle of his chest and a smiling face, staring at him. As someone who has read the original work, he naturally understands what this soul character means. Standard attire for personnel directly under the martial soul hall. On the left chest, there is a badge carved with a long sword, with three long swords intertwined, representing the third-class title of the Great Soul Master, while the long sword represents the War Soul Master. Lu Cheng's small face gradually froze. If he guessed correctly, this should be Su Yuntao from the original work. Today is the day of awakening of martial souls. It's terrible, but don't let yourself cause the plot to deviate. If this person suddenly has a brain twitch and really leaves, the next time they come, it's next year. 
Cough cough. Lu Cheng coughed lightly twice. Hardly speaking, my voice changed. Actually. A hundred years ago, our holy soul village had an eighth-class soul saint, which was extremely rare in the entire city of Nodding and even the entire province of Fasno. This is also the origin of our holy soul village name. Oh, really? Suyin Tao watched with a smile as Lu Cheng changed his face in Sichuan Opera, feeling secretly amused. Several villages had not discovered the soul master before, and his suppressed mood instantly improved. All right child, go and inform your village chief that someone has arrived at the martial soul hall. Old Jack knows what to do. Su Yun Tao waved his hand, put away the smile on his face, and walked towards the center of the village. Lu Qing nodded and immediately ran towards the village chief's house. On the system panel, the martial soul column is always blank, and he naturally looks forward to what his martial soul is. Lu Qing waited quietly at the martial soul hall in the center of the village. It is said to be the martial soul hall, but in reality, it is just a dilapidated house, a slightly larger wooden house. Because everyone has a martial soul, and every year someone awakens their martial soul, there is a martial soul hall in any corner of Dolua continent, but most of these are separate halls. There are already eight children inside the house, including Lu Cheng and the young man just now, placing their packages on the table, preparing for the awakening of their martial souls. Old Jack is also not here, and Lu Cheng guesses that he should be going to pick up the last Tang God King. Sure enough, the next moment. The door of the wooden house was opened. Old Jack walked in with the skinny Tang San. Upon seeing Tang San, Lu Cheng cast a warm and friendly gaze, and those who didn't know thought the two were extremely close friends. Tang San felt a chill all over his body and tried not to look at Lu Cheng's eyes as much as possible. This guy is so terrifying, he can be seen everywhere, wherever he hides, he can find him and ask a bunch of bullshit questions. What, why do people have a way to take death? What is your definition of a person who takes the path of death? May I ask if the combination of blue-silver grass entanglement and paralysis can be called grass inside hemp? Why is blue-silver wrap also called mother wrap? Dot. Dot. Waiting for the inexplicable and strange question, Tang San's head started to argue in a circle. In the end, he had no choice but to find an extremely secretive corner and stayed quietly for two days. Hello, respected war soul master, I have to trouble you again this time, he said, bowing again. Suyin Tao's face remained calm, with a proud expression in his eyes that belonged solely to the soul master. He bowed slightly, which was considered a return of courtesy. Children, I don't have much time, let's start now. His gaze swept over the crowd, his face gentle. He didn't look too much at Lu Cheng, after all, in his eyes, although this kid was a bit clever, he didn't have soul power, and ultimately couldn't stand the stage. In the end, he could only become one of the thousands of ordinary people. In this world, strength is paramount. Old Jack continued, Children, this is a master from Noting City. He is about to lead you to unlock your martial soul. You must cooperate well with the master to awaken your martial soul. Grandpa looks forward to one of you becoming a soul master. All right, all right, let's get started. Becoming a soul master is not an easy task, Su Yun Tao impatiently waved his hand. He walked through six villages, but not a single person had soul power, let alone becoming a soul master requires not only soul power, but also suitable martial souls, which is even more difficult. Sigh. Old Jack sighed and slowly walked out of the wooden door, hunched. He never knew. But to live, there must always be hope, end of this chapter. Chapter 4. Revealing Martial Souls. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4. Revealing Martial Souls, Children, Stand in a Row. Su Yun Tao spoke softly. Then came a brief introduction, as he opened the package on the table and took out six round black stones and a bright light blue crystal. 
Then place six stones in a hexagonal shape and have the first child stand at the center. Lone Wolf, Possessed Su Yun Tao let out a low shout, and then his body suddenly changed in front of the children's horrified gazes. The eyes gradually turned into a faint ink color, and the fingertips and claws of both hands suddenly popped out. The body instantly doubled, filling the clothing. At the same time, two soul rings, one white and one yellow, lit up from the soles of the feet, fluctuating back and forth between the head and the soles of the feet. Even Lu Cheng, who was mentally prepared, had his pupils slightly constricted. Good guy, this is just a big version of Wolf Uncle. No, it's an enhanced version of Wolf Uncle. This is also the first shock that Dolua Continent brought to him. Although online ridicule of Dolua World as a fantasy sewer and martial arts ceiling, only when one truly experiences it can one experience this visual shock. Besides, this is just a great soul master, don't be afraid. Su Yuntao helplessly reached out his paw and grabbed the almost crying child back, patiently explaining. Oh, I got it. The little boy remained timid and, following Su Yuntao's guidance, after some twists and turns, finally awakened his martial soul. Sickle. Useless martial soul, forget it, let's test innate soul power first. Su Yun Tao looked at the mini sickle quietly floating in the little boy's palm with a calm expression. Obviously, he was already prepared for this result. The martial soul can be retrieved with thoughts, and when used again in the future, it can be summoned with thoughts. Su Yun Tao extended his right hand, with the light blue crystal in his palm, and gestured for the boy to place his hand on it. After a moment, he shook his head and said, No soul power, next one. Next is the second and third. Nong Cha. No soul power, next one, Ho, no soul power. Soon, it's Tang San's turn. At this moment, Su Yun Tao was already slightly tired, probably due to maintaining his martial soul for a long time, but he still wore a gentle smile. Child, extend your right hand. The golden light gathered again, and a pale blue vine appeared in Tang San's palm, as if it had life, gently fluttering. Blue silver grass. Su Yun Tao waved his hand slightly wearily, next one, there's no need to waste time on this useless martial soul. Here we go. Lu Cheng's face was full of excitement. Underworld scenes. Undoubtedly, he is the quality inspector of the Divine King. With a shout of abandonment from Brother Tao, the Divine King cannot escape. Let me give it a try, uncle. Tang San stared closely at Su Yun Tao, his eyes full of determination. Well. Okay. Su Yun Tao frowned slightly, but soon regained a gentle smile. Anyway, testing once won't take much time, it doesn't matter anymore. The soul power test is continuing. Oh my goodness, it's innate soul power. The dazzling blue light shone from the crystal ball and quickly spread throughout the entire room. According to traditional testing, as long as there is a slight induction in the crystal ball, it indicates the presence of soul power in the subject's body. However, with such a dazzling crystal ball in front of them, there is only one possibility. Su Yuntao widened his eyes and looked at Tang San, who was thin and small, as if he had seen a ghost in broad daylight. Uncle. What is innate soul power? Tang San asked in confusion. Su Yun Tao explained in a daze. Lu Qing listened while shifting his gaze to Tang San. In the original work, the setting of innate full soul power is quite a bug, equivalent to the existence of full talent. It has an advantage at the beginning, and the cultivation speed is also the fastest. It is even possible to enter the Doluo realm with half a foot and such a formidable talent was unexpectedly abandoned by Su Yun Tao, claiming that his martial soul was too useless, and even if he practiced, he would not achieve much. Blue silver grass would only evolve into garbage with the improvement of his martial soul, so he gave up on Tang San. For this point, Lu Cheng only feels outrageous. After all, no matter how useless it is, it shouldn't be something that a great soul master like you can guide. That's innate soul power. 
There are not many people from the entire continent, and almost every time they appear, they are the influential figures of the famous continent. Shouldn't this kind of existence be reported to the Marshall Soul Hall first? Unfortunately. Sure enough, Su Yuntao continued to show a look of regret. Even the previous tools, hammers, forks, were stronger than this blue-silver grass. Unfortunately, this innate soul power. Next. Su Yuntao waved his hand, he didn't even bother to report, after all, in his understanding, it is impossible to cultivate a useless martial soul, even if it is innate full of soul power Lu Cheng walked quickly into the stone formation and skillfully extended his right hand. Accompanied by Su Yuntao's double claws covering him, the light flickered from the formation and quickly spread to Lu Cheng's entire body, enveloping him in a golden screen. Lu Cheng felt a warm and comfortable sensation all over his body. He was in a warm and cozy world, completely relaxed. A warm breath surged into the body, and under its gentle traction, it seemed as if something had broken inside, all rushing towards the palm of the hand. This is soul power Lu Ching murmured inwardly, but soon, a golden light shone in the palm of his right hand. At the same time, a mechanical sound sounded. Ding, congratulations to the host for awakening their martial soul. Martial soul. Soul devouring spear, current status. Damaged, note. Dual form martial soul, after repairing the damage, new discoveries will be made. Thinking about the future, Su Yuntao's eyes flickered with a strange light. It's a gun. Although it's a bit old, as long as you have soul power, you can become a soul master. Lu Qing turned his gaze to the palm of his right hand. I saw a mini black and red long spear hanging in mid-air, completely black in color, with only a slight redness on both sides of the blade. However, the whole gun was old, with cracks all over the body, and the blade was not sharp, like a blunt weapon. The spear tassel is dark red, drifting with the wind. The damaged state means that this is not the original appearance of the soul-devouring spear, while the dual form is somewhat intriguing. Lu Qing saw a large inscription in the introduction behind the martial soul. Current status. Dark. Is it difficult? Is it a twin martial soul? Child, come on, let's test our soul power. Suyantao's face was slightly pale, but he couldn't conceal his excitement. When testing his martial soul just now, he could feel the golden light on Lu Chang's body that was far stronger than other children, just like the feeling Tang San gave him. It's very likely. Innate full soul power. If it's true, then Lu Chang's future is limitless. It's not impossible to say that in ten years, it's possible to become one of the towering figures in the Martial Soul Hall. Oh, Lu Cheng put his hand on the crystal ball. In the next moment, the entire room was filled with light. The dazzling light of pale blue instantly filled every corner of the wooden house, making everyone unable to open their eyes. Sure enough. Born with full soul power. Suyin Tao was ecstatic in his heart, and his face turned red. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Repeated Horizontal Jumps. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Repeated Horizontal Jumps, Ding, Feel the Excitement. Ding, Getting the Treasure Chest. Ding, Acquisition Failed. Lu Qing suddenly woke up from the system prompt sound, What is it, Acquisition Failed? How can that be done? Tang Shenwang and Laozi have all collected it. You, a little soul master, must first open a treasure chest before leaving. Lu Cheng raised the corner of his mouth and gave a faint smile. In the next moment, the wooden house that had just been brightly lit suddenly dimmed. The crystal ball held in Lu Cheng's hand did not even emit a single ray of light, as if everything just now was a dream. Su Yun Tao. Turning to his senses, he looked at Lu Cheng with a dull expression on his face, but in response, there was only an innocent and sincere look in his eyes. What happened to the gods and demons? Just as Su Yuntao was doubting his life, Lu Cheng heard a mechanical prompt sound in his ear. Ding, we have detected a sense of confusion. Ding, 
extracting the treasure chest. Ding, extraction failed. Can't even drive this. Lu Qing raised his eyebrows and cast a lingering light on Su Yuntao's face, who was checking the crystal ball, with a grin on his face. Okay, okay, then continue. If we don't dig up a treasure chest today, I won't call him Chinggu. So, a dazzling blue light once again filled the wooden house, reflecting Su Yuntao's eyes into a blue hue. It seems there's a problem with the crystal ball, but it's okay, kid, it's just a minor problem. Su Yuntao slowly breathed a sigh of relief. Even for him, his mood fluctuated like a roller coaster, and he couldn't help but caress his chest. A smile appeared on his face. Just about to speak. Buzz. The blue crystal ball once again dimmed, and the light instantly disappeared. Su Yuntao. Good guy, haven't you released the treasure chest yet? Lu Qing thought to himself, but his face showed a bewildered expression, with a hint of fear and confusion. In terms of acting skills, Cheng is a professional. This is already his seventh time flashing, and his eyes are almost numb to the person across from him, making it difficult to even touch his emotions. How about? Forget it. Lu Qing hesitated and planned to temporarily let go of this divine king appraiser and torture him with another one. As soon as the thought arose, Tang San shuddered and looked around inexplicably, only to relax when he saw no abnormalities. I've been driven crazy by Lu Qing lately, I'm suspicious. He had already thought about it. With Dolua continent so big, there would always be a place for Tang San to settle down and cultivate. In the future, if he went to the academy that Grandpa Jack said, he wouldn't believe this guy could come with him. Su Yuntao looked numbly at the crystal ball, wanting to cry without tears. He knew that in less than three seconds, this crystal ball would inevitably dim. The first and second times could still be understood as accidents, but what about the eighth time? That damn Wang Zhao must have forgotten to inspect the crystal ball. When he goes back, he must report to the branch hall and have him stationed in the countryside. That's it. Su Yuntao gritted his teeth and said. However, the time the crystal ball was shining this time was unusually long, with no hint of dimness. Is it difficult? Has it finally stabilized? Su Yuntao hesitated and tentatively stroked his paw onto the crystal. One second, two seconds. Half a minute has passed and the crystal ball has already shone like a star. Su Yuntao finally breathed a sigh of relief, it seemed that there should be no problem. So, child, are you willing to join? Click. An imperceptible sound emanated from the crystal ball, and cracks spread like spider webs, instantly spreading throughout the entire crystal ball. Two pairs of eyes, one big and one small, suddenly widened as they stared at the crystal ball. Lu Cheng's mouth twitched slightly. An obvious thing. This crystal ball seems to have been damaged by him as the crack spread, Lu Cheng seemed to hear the heartbreaking sound of Su Yuntao on the other side, with a clicking sound. Bang! Finally, the original crystal ball exploded with an indestructible roar, and fragments fell to the ground. Ding, feel a sense of breakdown. Ding, extracting the treasure chest. Ding, extraction successful. Lu Cheng. Dot. Lu Cheng pretended to be a victim with an innocent face and panicked as he escaped from the stone formation. The mechanical sound ringing in my ears constantly reminded me that he was the mastermind behind this accident uncle, are you okay? After a while, Lu Cheng slowly approached the expressionless Su Yuntao, ignoring the newly opened hot treasure chest. He reached out his small hand and bounced in front of Su Yuntao, trying to attract attention. Cough. It's okay, Su Yuntao forced out a smile. It's uncle's fault, it's my problem. Damn Wang Zhao. Unexpectedly derelict in work to this extent. If you go back, you must report it to Master Mathiano, and he shouldn't have taken on the role of quality inspector. These instruments for detecting soul power and awakening martial souls are of utmost importance, and the annual maintenance prices are expensive. 
The funds allocated by the Soul Hall far exceed the budget. The fact is right in front of him. Su Yun Tao wished he could fly into the hall now and teach the guy who was eating vegetarian food at the corpse spot a lesson. This not only relates to the accuracy of the innate soul power test in front of us, but also to the subsequent tests in several villages. We need to go back first never mind, let this child join Notting College first. The testing will be reported to the headquarters of the Marshall Soul Hall later, and it will be beyond his control. Su Yintao thought to himself, looking at Lu Cheng with a guilty expression, he couldn't help feeling a bit ashamed. Look at how scared the children have been by the negligence of these adults. Moreover, this is mostly a child of a gifted demon. At a higher level, it could be the pillar of the future of the martial soul hall. At a lower level, it is innate and full of soul power, and at least it will be an elder level existence in the future. Rubbing his stiff face, he continued to ask softly. Child, are you willing to join the martial soul hall? I, I don't know. Lu Cheng shook his head, still in a state of shock, nervously lowering his head. To be honest, he does not reject the martial soul hall, after all, the reason why this force is defined as a villain is simply because in the book, they have conflicting interests with the Tang God King. Establish rules to constrain evil soul masters, open up the awakening of martial souls to civilians and provide subsidies, want to unify the mainland and change the chaotic situation on the mainland, even overthrowing the aristocratic class from any perspective, the martial soul hall is countless times better than the Tang God King who shouted slogans of justice and ended up doing nothing. However, Lu Cheng is not in a hurry to join any faction. Okay. Su Yuntao glanced anxiously at the timid Lu Cheng. The child must have been frightened, after all, a six-year-old child, who had never seen such a scene before Dam Wang Zhao. With a sigh, he turned around and left the room. Lu Cheng had no idea that this pot had been firmly carried by a rather unlucky guy. Despite appearing panicked and at a loss to the outside world, he was actually secretly checking the system panel. A silver treasure chest, a gold treasure chest. Silver comes from Su Yun Tao, and gold is naturally our Tang God King. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Character Panel You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Character Panel Open the Box Lu Ching couldn't wait to say in his heart. Ding, open the silver treasure chest and gain plus one stamina points, the character panel has been opened and can be viewed on the system page. Ding, the golden treasure chest is open. The character's skill points are plus three, and you can choose your own target to add points to. Oh, roar. Lu Cheng's pupils contracted slightly. Below the system panel, there are several additional lines of text. Speed. 2. Elderly, young, sick, disabled, physical strength. 2. Plus 1. Elderly, young, sick, disabled, intelligence. 10. Soul that does not conform to the body, HP, 2. Crispy skin, soul power. Level 10, congenital full soul power, free control points. 3. Seeing the concrete data panel, Lu Cheng felt ecstatic in his heart. It should be noted that in the world of Dolua, physical strength is a very important thing in the early stage, especially in the early stage of the academy. Physical training almost occupied most of the time of Shrek's seven monsters, which also laid a solid foundation for later development. The opening of the character data panel signifies the concretization of future upgrades. No longer need to work hard to train, just collect treasure chests, open skill points, and then shout deep blue to add points. Add all the freedom points to your stamina. Lu Ching thought to himself. The words have just finished. Lu Ching felt a sore sensation all over his body. Fortunately, he came and went quickly, and the pain only lasted for a few seconds before disappearing. Instead, Lu Cheng felt his strength suddenly increase by a few points. About two or three times as much as before. Looking at the character panel again, the stamina column is already. 2 plus, 4, 
weak and uncontrollable, weak and uncontrollable. Lu Cheng was stunned for a moment, did the system's evaluation of him change? Being weak and vulnerable seems to be slightly stronger than being old, weak, sick, or disabled. It seems that 10 o'clock should be the standard for a normal adult, while soul masters probably have no upper limit, he 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 he. Lu Cheng chuckled inwardly, also full of expectations for the future. Just for Tang San, maybe it's not that beautiful anymore, how about it, master? Is there a child in our village who can become a soul master this time? Old Jack saw the wooden door pushed open and eagerly asked Su Yun Tao, who was walking out. Yes, there is. Su Yun Tao pondered slowly. And there are two. What? Two of them. Old Jack's face was full of excitement, wishing he could hold Su Yun Tao and kiss him. Our holy soul village is about to develop. Two soul masters. Old Jack suddenly thought of something and frowned like a withered leaf. But the village only has one quota for working dot class students, and that's all. Anyway, there are available spots in other villages, and they won't be able to use them either. Just move one for you, Su Yun Tao waved his hand indifferently, his eyes suddenly sharp. Old Jack, I don't care about the child who awakens the blue silver grass, but the child who awakens the long spear can't be careless at all. Please help take care of it temporarily. If you encounter any trouble before entering Notting College, come to the Marshall Soul Hall to find me. The child with the awakening gun. Old Jack was stunned for a moment. Well, Su Yun Tao stared at Old Jack with a serious expression on his face and slowly said word by word, he has innate soul power. What? Old Jack suddenly widened his eyes. Once there was a soul master in the village with only level 1 soul power, but now they have successfully been promoted to the great soul master and become a martial soul palace deacon like Su Yun Tao. In their eyes, they are all important figures. What a terrifying existence that level 10 should be. Perhaps. Holy Soul Village will be renamed in the near future. Glancing at the stagnant old Jack, Su Yun Tao took a deep breath and his voice gradually softened. I still need to report this matter to the headquarters. Remember to keep his identity confidential, after all, a person with innate soul power. As long as it's not a trash martial soul like blue silver grass, there will be an unimaginable future for us. Old Jack looked at Su Yun Tao's distant figure and rubbed his stiff cheeks. In just a few minutes today, it was even more exciting than what he had experienced in his entire life. That's innate soul power. A few days passed hastily. Lu Ching still lazily lies on the big stones at the village entrance every day, catching Tang San who passes by and torturing him when he is in a good mood, and torturing him a few more times when he is not in a good mood. Causing Tang San unbearable suffering. But every day he had to pass through the village entrance, Xian Tian Gong, and ZGMO Tong, these peerless techniques that he could only enjoy alone, and the techniques could not be passed on to others. Therefore, he had to find a quiet and uninhabited corner, as there were many people in the village with mixed eyes, which was not suitable. I have to practice forging at home every day, and I can't avoid it at all. Tang San walked quickly past the village entrance and disdainfully glanced at Lu Cheng lying lazily on a large stone. Even if one has good talent, what about it? What about having a martial soul that can be cultivated? If you don't practice diligently, you will eventually be trampled on by me. He has been working hard these days to forge iron, with strength comparable to that of ordinary adults. He wakes up early every day to practice Shen Tian Gong, purple extreme magic eyes, and even crafted hidden weapons from his past life. He believes that even ordinary adults can be easily killed. Unfortunately, the village elder Jack has been constantly wandering around Lu Qing these days, making it difficult for him to find a chance to take action. Otherwise, this annoying kid will surely become a formidable hidden weapon of the Tang clan. The self-victory method instantly relieved Tang San's mood, and he walked into the village with a relaxed pace. Lu Qing didn't notice Tang San at all, and even if he heard it, he wouldn't care. 
His gaze is on the character panel. Name. Lu Ching Age. Seven Martial Soul. Soul Devouring Spear, Current Status. Dark Form, Speed. Eleven, Weak and Uncontrollable, Physical Strength. Nine, Weak and Uncontrollable, Intelligence. Ten, Soul that does not conform to the body, HP, 11, Crispy Skin, Soul Power. Level 10, Congenital Full Soul Power, Free Control Points. 5. He has studied this martial soul for a long time, and knows nothing about it except that it is a dual form. In a deserted place, he tried to release his martial soul, and the dark red spear's sharpness revealed a cold light. The long tassel slowly fluttered and waved, giving off a unique feeling. As for the first soul ring, Lu Cheng is not in a hurry either. His current soul ring limit has been raised to over 2000 years. Any soul beast of that level that he encounters alone will undoubtedly die. So we can only rely on the power of others. Let's make a calculation after going to Nodding College. Dual form, now the dark red color should be the dark form. What about the other form? Lu Qing felt a bit itchy in his heart, but he could only let it go for now. These days, he has collected points from Tang San, and the rain and dew have all been added to various attributes, especially health. A thicker point of health is not harmful, just the two points of health before, and he looks at them with trembling heart. If there were an accident that day and it was cleared to zero, wouldn't it be a hiccup? The remaining five free points are reserved for improvisation. Now he is no different from an adult in terms of speed, strength, and vitality. However, in this world, there is still crispy skin. The sound of the carriage rang out. Xiao Cheng, let's set off now. I won't procrastinate, everyone rest assured to follow. The village ends here, and the next step is not in college. The pace is only fast, not slow. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Yin and Yang Errors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Yin and Yang Errors Lu Qing opened his eyes. A donkey cart is slowly driving out of the village. Old Jack was driving a donkey cart, and Tang San was sitting at the back. Okay. Lu Qing jumped onto the donkey cart and stared at the gradually fading Holy Soul Village until it finally disappeared. Oh, mistress, why are you still crying? Lu Qing shifted his gaze to Tang San, raised his eyebrows, and said with a wicked smile. Ding, feel emotional fluctuations. Ding, extracting the treasure chest. Ding, extraction successful, three free attribute points have been added to the attribute panel. Not bad, Lu Cheng looked at Tang San, who had no expression on his face but was actually experiencing strong emotional fluctuations in his heart. He smiled happily and didn't say anything more. The rabbit is in a hurry and still bites people. To collect wool, it is necessary to master a certain degree. Although he is not afraid of Tang San now, it is not yet the time to completely turn his back. Yu Guang glanced at Tang San's hand, holding a letter. Lu Qing felt a little taken aback. In the original work, which is today, Tang Hao left a letter and left the Holy Soul Village, shedding his decadent appearance and starting to dig through some old accounts. Waiter, can't you let go of the village or your drunken dad? Lao Jia drove the donkey cart and turned his head to look at Tang San, who was looking down with a smile. They all have it, right? Tang San answered in a low voice. Compared to my immature grandsons, you and Xiao Cheng are much more sensible. With your son, it's Tang Hao's good fortune. Old Jack smiled and said. The outside world is vast and boundless. When you arrive at the college, you will make many excellent friends. But in the future, you must remember to come back and take a look. Hmm. Tang San nodded silently, but in fact, he didn't take it seriously in his heart. He turned his head and completely forgot what old Jack had said. The only person he cares about in this village is his father. As for the others, even old Jack, who provided him with a lot of help, was just a passerby. 
It was not far from Holy Soul Village to Notting City, and the three of them rode on donkey carts. In less than two or three hours, they could already see the faintly visible city walls. After a simple inspection at the city gate, the three of them slowly rode on donkey carts to the front of Notting College. The shops and markets here are far more bustling than in the countryside. Old Jack's attire in Holy Soul Village can be considered respectable, but here he looks like a country bumpkin. What are you doing? A group of rural people are also here. The gatekeeper looked at the three of them dressed in disdain. Lu Cheng looked up and saw the towering gate, which was ten meters high. Behind the gate was a shady path with exceptionally beautiful greenery. The students inside were also dressed neatly, exuding a sense of grandeur, which contrasted sharply with the shabby attire of the three of him. Speaking of which, just a junior college is even better than the poor Shrek College, by a billion points Tsai. As Lu Cheng was stunned, the guard had already started pushing and shoving with Old Jack. Old Jack was old and weak, so he couldn't resist the strength of the guard. With a sudden push, his foot slipped, and his body leaned back. Lu Cheng was quick-witted and stepped forward to help Old Jack. Tang Sanjing was about to take action, but was taken one step ahead by Lu Cheng. While surprised by his speed, he also turned his gaze to the young guard who was still arrogant. His eyes were slightly heavy. You already have a way to take death. Stop it. A calm voice came from the side, stopping the guard's declaration of death. Lu Cheng pursed his lips, and the remaining light swept towards Tang San on the side. He saw his right hand shake slightly, and a cold light had already disappeared from his sleeve. As mentioned in the original work. The third item in the general outline of the Shantian treasure record of the Tang clan is to confirm that the opponent is an enemy, and as long as they have a way to kill, do not show mercy. By the way, this definite standard is really fascinating, right? And this also evolved into the later Tang Shen Wang, as long as he saw who was unhappy, he felt that he had a way to take death, master. How did you come? The young gatekeeper bowed and licked his face with a smile. You will always be beaten one day, the middle dot aged man who spoke earlier sighed helplessly, then turned around and looked at Lu Cheng and his group with a faint expression. Show me the proof of the martial soul hall. Old Jack quickly handed over two pieces of white paper, which were the certificates that Su Yun Tao had given him before leaving. There's no problem with the things, you guys come in. Speaking, Yu Xiaojiang took Tang San's hand and walked slowly towards the inside. As for Lu Cheng, he didn't even glance. Lu Cheng smiled faintly, greeted old Jack, and followed into the campus, walking along the shaded road towards the dormitory. On the proof provided by Su Yuntao, it shows that his innate soul power is only level 1, and his martial soul is just the most useless farming tool. This was originally meant to protect him, but unexpectedly saved some trouble. Watching their backs gradually recede, Lu Cheng smiled faintly. It seemed that the master had already begun to deceive Tang San eagerly. Finally, the master and disciple had come together. But it's okay, go and see my little dance. Lu Cheng turned around and walked towards the accommodation building. The little dance at this time is very smooth there is only one dormitory building, and Lu Cheng quickly found it. Here, teachers and students live together, and the total number of teachers and students in the entire college is only 300. A dormitory building is not crowded to live in. Bedsheets and bedding are sold in the building management, and Lu Cheng specially selected a finely crafted bedding that is brand new and clean. The purpose, of course, is to wait for the rabbit after receiving his toiletries, Lu Cheng arrived at the gate of the seven houses. This is the worst condition among all dormitories, after all, as a working dot class student, tuition fees have been waived, and the benefits will naturally be slightly reduced. Looking at the noticeably old wooden door compared to other dormitories, Lu Cheng gently pushed the door in and heard the noise inside the room. Seven or eight children are making a fuss. Hey, what's the name of that newcomer? In the crowd, a slightly older boy, 
about twelve or thirteen years old, shouted casually. Wang Sheng. Lu Cheng glanced at him and had an impression of him in his heart. A sincere child is someone who is expected to be a younger brother, but unfortunately, his talent is really poor. He can't take care of it in the early stages, let alone in the later stages. Hello, speaking to you, you. The sound came to a sudden halt. The hustle and bustle inside the room also instantly quieted down. Everyone's stunned gaze converged, and Lu Cheng had an old dark red spear in his hand at some point. At this moment, he is holding the gun handle alone. The tip of the gun was tightly pressed against Wang Xing's neck, and a cold light flashed through the sharp tip, reflecting the beads of sweat dripping from Wang Xing's forehead due to nervousness. Lu Cheng turned his head and looked faintly at Wang Sheng, who was one head taller than him. What, do you have any objections? No, no problem, just be happy, ha uh -huh. ha. <laughs> Wang Sheng dared not even wipe the cold sweat off his forehead and stood stiffly in place. His premonition told him that if he really angered the person in front of him, this ancient gun would easily pierce his throat and make a comeback. And the people around were also shocked. Wang Sheng is a senior student with considerable strength. This person's only one move scared him so much that he didn't dare to move. It's so terrifying. Is this Chisha? A lively voice came from outside the door, breaking the quiet atmosphere of the room. Please follow up and start testing the water soon. If you like it, please do not raise books. Thank you for your support. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Intimate Contact You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Intimate Contact A lovely little girl was standing at the door, looking curiously into the room. Bright eyes and white teeth, fair skin, cheeks white with a hint of redness, like freshly ripe peaches. No one in the room has ever seen such a beautiful girl, and everyone showed a stunned expression. Lu Cheng's spear dissipated in his hand and he calmly turned around, continuing to lay the bedding. Welcome, this is Chisha. Wang Xing breathed a sigh of relief and warmly introduced the beautiful girl who appeared in time. You said that only by defeating the strongest can one become the leader. During Wang Xing's introduction, Xiao Wu accidentally heard the news and quickly asked excitedly. So who is your current boss? In the next moment, the atmosphere that had just begun to liven up in the room fell silent again, and everyone couldn't help but look at Lu Cheng, who was laying bedding and his face was calm. The result is self-evident. Xiao Wu smiled slightly and walked over to Lu Cheng's side. I heard you're the boss here. Wang Xing said that the rule here is for newcomers to compete with the boss. Whoever wins is the big brother. Why don't we have a competition? Sure. Lu Cheng lifted his eyelids and glanced at Xiao Wu. The two parted ways, and the people around them also moved to the sides, making way for their positions and transforming into a crowd of onlookers. You take action first, I'll give you three moves. Lu Cheng put his hand behind him and said with a deep tone. For the rogue rabbit, he had already had a complete plan to take it, but of course it couldn't be left to Tang San. After all, who wouldn't want to eat such a cute rabbit so the first step of the plan is to create a sense of mystery. Any girl will be curious about a mysterious boy, and curiosity is the first step to spark love. You have to be careful, Xiao Wu gave a gentle smile. Oh, by the way, my name is Xiao Wu, a dancing dance. Swinging the braid behind the head, the agile figure leaped forward suddenly. Lu Cheng's face remained unchanged and his body moved slightly to the right. With a speed of 11 points and a level 10 soul power, it was enough for him to calmly avoid all attacks from Xiao Wu. Oh! Xiao Wu's blow fell into the air, and the willow eyebrows lightly raised, immediately becoming even more excited. Continue! But after several rounds of fighting, she couldn't even touch Lu Cheng's body. You're playing tricks! Xiao Wu angrily said, her beautiful eyes still looking at Lu Cheng with a calm expression. With all her strength exhausted, she was already struggling at this moment. 
Her fair little face was tinged with a slight blush, and she was panting for a fragrance. However, the boy still looked indifferent. They are all peers, let alone she is still born with full soul power. Why is the gap between the two so big? Okay, then I won't move. Lu Ching gave a faint smile and did not argue with him. He he, then you must be careful. Upon hearing this, Xiao Wu let out a wicked laugh and her delicate figure swept forward, leaping high and forcefully. Her legs were coiled around Lu Chang's neck, and she forcefully threw back. But in a moment, her smile solidified on her face. No matter how hard she tries, it's difficult for her to move a single penny. Cough, come down now. Even the thick-skinned Lu Chang's mouth twitched at this moment. A pair of tender white legs twisted around the neck, with skin touching each other. The soft and delicate touch came, coupled with the fragrant sweat of Xiaowu, the delicate touch and the constantly moving Xiaowu. If it weren't for all the children present and not caring about these things, Lu Cheng wouldn't have died in public. Humph. Xiaowu proudly shook her braids and jumped off Lu Cheng, landing lightly on the ground. You're the boss, I'll give up. Hmm. Upon seeing this, Lu Cheng nodded lightly and calmly continued to tidy up the bed. He was not in a hurry to attack. At this moment, the innocent little white rabbit was unaware that it had already fallen into the trap of hunter Lu Cheng. Xiao Wu is a restless person who quickly became the little dance sister among the crowd. Even discerning people can see that although she cannot defeat Lu Cheng, it is only because Lu Cheng is too abnormal not because Xiao Wu is weak. At least clean them up easily. Bedding. This seems to be a problem. Xiao Wu looked at the bedding laid out by everyone in the room, with an awkward expression on her face. As a soul beast, she had just arrived and was not prepared at all. Xiao Wu, use mine. Xiao Wu, I can half lay and half cover, and you can take the blanket. Most of the working dot class students in the room are sensible at an early age and understand the world at a young age. Xiao Wu looked around and saw that the room was filled with working. Class students. Although the bedding was washed clean, most of it was in tattered condition. Finally, the beautiful eyes fell on Lu Cheng. The newly purchased bedding not only has a slight fragrance of orchids, but is also clean and tidy. Compared to the surrounding area, it is simply a blow to dimensionality. Boss, let's discuss something. Xiao Wu stood next to Lu Cheng, with a pitiful face and a tender white hand tugging at his sleeve. Say it, Lu Cheng didn't even turn his head and continued to lay the mattress. In fact, in a place that Xiao Wu couldn't see, the corners of her mouth slightly raised. I'm in a hurry to go out and didn't bring any bedding. Can we share one place like yours? Xiao Wu looked at Lu Cheng with beautiful eyes and blinked. Sure. Lu Cheng nodded expressionlessly, but in fact, his heart was filled with joy. Strategy Rabbit Plan, the first step is to wait for the rabbit and complete it successfully. Draw a light line on the bed. Speak lightly. The 38th parallel, just don't cross the line. Mmm, no boss. Xiao Wu nodded her curiosity for Lu Cheng growing stronger in her heart. Here are all working dot class students, and theoretically, the family conditions are very poor, but Lu Cheng is an alternative. This set of bedding is not something that ordinary families can afford. And Lu Cheng's mysterious background and terrifying strength filled this pure white rabbit, who had just entered the world, with curiosity. The meal is ordered, are you going to the cafeteria to eat now? boss. Wang Sheng cautiously probed and asked. Well, let's go. Lu Qing nodded and immediately led the group towards the direction of the cafeteria. What kind of food to eat? My stomach is almost starving. Xiao Wu followed behind Lu Qing, bouncing and laughing as she asked. What else can it be? We work study students, buy some vegetables mantu to satisfy our hunger. It's okay if we can't die of hunger. How dare we eat anything else? Wang Sheng shook his head with a wry smile. Wait, 
if you're going to eat, you shouldn't also want that soul coin, right? Xiao Wu paused, her expression frozen. Wang Sheng understood clearly and was about to take on all the expenses for Xiao Wu's recent meals. Xiao Wu carefully tugged at the corner of Lu Chang's clothes in front of her and said hesitantly. That, boss, can I? Sure, Lu Cheng said calmly without looking back. He certainly wouldn't refuse, such a good opportunity to get closer would only be missed by a fool. I have covered everyone's meal expenses today. Glancing at Wang Sheng, Lu Cheng continued. The voice was flat, but it made a group of people cheer. They could see that Lu Cheng was wealthy and a child from a poor family. Observing his words and expressions was the first lesson in entering society. In the original work, Xiao Wu was wearing pants, not a skirt, which was modified by the author. San Xiao is not a green hat fetish, nor is the author. We will pay attention to this later. Xiao Wu is not so casual, so please rest assured to watch. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Persecution by Changing Individuals You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Persecution by Changing Individuals Have a 10-year turtle scale soup I want a 10-year steamed rice with ayah rats A stir-fried 10-year red needle sparrow, thank you I want to Boss, what do you want? Wang Sheng ran to Lu Cheng's side with a big grin I didn't choose first, but asked Lu Cheng about his plans. There is eye color. I'll have a braised rabbit head, Lu Cheng said calmly. By the way, remember to have a soft bone rabbit. Ding, feel emotional fluctuations. Ding, extracting the treasure chest. Ding, obtain a golden treasure chest with three free attribute points. Humph. Xiao Wu turned her head and gritted her silver teeth tightly. If it weren't for his treat, he wouldn't have been able to fight on his own. I must let him taste little dance sister's prowess. Rabbit is so cute, why eat rabbit? Oh, by the way, my martial soul is a soul-devouring spear, and you. Lu Cheng looked at Xiao Wu and asked. Soft bone charming rabbit. Humph. Xiao Wu pouted and put on a posture of not being with you if you eat rabbits. Oh, Lu Cheng, suddenly realized, nodded, and turned to Wang Sheng, then let's change it. That's pretty good. Xiao Wu turned around and regained her smile. Then dry fry the rabbit head, it's so spicy. You. Dot. Of course, Lu Cheng did not end up eating rabbit heads. I ordered a steamed century-old silver armored python and enjoyed it. It can only be said that the taste is indeed good, worthy of being a professional chef, and it is not inferior to the taste of previous lives. Glancing at Xiao Wu, who was still sulking, Lu Qing didn't deliberately try to coax her. This is also part of his plan. Creating a contrasting and touching setting, also known as sexual tension, combined with the previous sense of mystery, girls hardly ever run away. Of course, all of this comes from his strength as a foundation. A few days in a row. Lu Qing not only teased Xiao Wu, but also made her unable to stop. Feeling frustrated, his body was honest and he couldn't help but want to get closer to Lu Qing. Especially at night, with the passage of time, their relationship gradually heated up, and it is not an exaggeration to say that they truly shared the same bed. That 38th parallel has long been a decoration as for the remaining time, it's about thinking about the soul ring. A soul beast that has been around for 2,000 years, he will definitely not be able to defeat it, and even if he goes, he can only give away his head. At present, the only way to break through the situation is to rely on the power of the Martial Soul Hall. Only the Martial Soul Hall knows his talent now. I don't know what the result is, after all these days, there hasn't been any news yet. Lu Qing sat in the garden of the playground, looking up at the sky, feeling tired. At this moment, as night falls, there is no one above the playground. Are you Lu Cheng? Suddenly, a voice came from the side, and Lu Cheng turned around to look. 
he saw a middle-aged man wearing luxurious black battle armor standing behind him. Lu Chang's hair froze, it was too scary, silently, like a special ghost. But as his gaze shifted to the middle-aged man's chest, his face finally improved. People from the Martial Soul Hall. No, it's not. Lu Cheng turned around and said calmly. Hmm. The ghost took out an extra piece of paper in its hand, looked at the image painted on it, and then compared it to Lu Cheng, looking back and forth with a question mark on its face. What's your name then? Oh, my surname is Ri, you can call me Rikoa Okayaka, Lu Cheng said with a serious expression. Ghost. Dot. Seriously, I know your name is Lu Cheng, he said in a deep voice Lu Cheng. Do you still ask if you know? Ghost. Dot. Ding, feel emotional fluctuations. Ding, extracting the treasure chest. Ding, extraction failed. Lu Cheng raised his eyebrows. So you're here for something. Cough cough, I'm here to take you to the headquarters of the Martial Soul Palace and see the Pope. The ghost dialogue finally returned to the right track and breathed a slow sigh of relief. Lu Cheng. What if I don't want to go? Ghost. Then you'll have to suffer some hardships. Lu Cheng. What if I don't want to eat? Ghost. That's not up to you. Lu Cheng. If I were. The ghost was furious and said, Ah ah. Where is my knife? Ding, feel emotional fluctuations. Ding, extracting the treasure chest. Ding, extraction successful. Congratulations on obtaining the diamond chest. Diamond chest. Lu Cheng was stunned, with even greater joy in his heart. He looked up and down at the ghost for a moment. Good guy, this person shouldn't be the elder of the Martial Soul Hall. Which one is it? Chrysanthemum, Snake Spear, Ghost Leopard, Wild Bear, or Old Ghost. These characters fluctuate in Lu Cheng's mind, but he has no clue. Before the title Dolua reveals his strength, he cannot judge based on his appearance. But it shouldn't be a wild bear. That guy is a big and rough guy, which doesn't match the image of this middle-aged man. Forget it, these are not important, and Lu Cheng quickly focused his attention on the treasure chest. This is a diamond chest. The first time I've encountered a treasure chest of this level. Open the box. Ding, get a Martial Soul Awakening Experience card. Hmm. Lu Cheng looked bewildered. What's going on? What's the Martial Soul Awakening card didn't I awaken before? There is only a simple line of text on the system panel. Martial Soul Awakening card 1 There are no other prompts, which is confusing. A diamond chest. Is that all? Have you figured it out yet? The ghost said angrily. This is the best opportunity to meet the Pope. If you miss this one, there won't be another one. The Pope's appreciation is what many people dream of. Before coming, he was instructed by the Pope to bring every hair to the Martial Soul Hall. The previous threat was only verbal intimidation, and he dared not really take action. After all, with innate soul power, there are only a few geniuses on the entire continent. If there is no problem with the Martial Soul, it is almost impossible to book a super title dolo. Moreover, with the cultivation of the Martial Soul Hall, it is difficult to predict even his future achievements. This is also an opportunity to establish a good relationship in advance. But he never imagined that a child aged six or seven would be so tormented. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Martial Soul Awakening You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Martial Soul Awakening Let's go, of course we go. Lu Ching nodded. He was already looking forward to the arrival of the Martial Soul Hall, but now that people have really arrived, he has no reason to refuse. The first soul ring points to the Martial Soul Hall. Seeing Lu Ching nod, the ghost breathed a sigh of relief in its heart. This little ancestor has finally loosened his grip. 
He is not good at using a too strong attitude, and the Pope's original words also brought this child unharmed. He must pay attention to his words and not let him feel dissatisfied with the martial soul hall. He had an innate soul power of nine levels, and he practiced all the way until the Tidal Dolua was almost unobstructed. It was not until he entered the Tidal Dolua that he found it difficult to move forward and was stuck at level 95, making it difficult to make any progress. The difference between his innate full soul power and his is not just a little bit. In other words, level 9 is because his limit is level 9, while level 10 is because the highest innate full soul power is only level 10. The ghostly figure flashed and was about to leave. But he trembled suddenly, his eyes showing a look of astonishment. A hundred thousand year soul beast. The words have not yet finished. Lu Cheng. Why are you staying up late at night? I saw Xiaowu already bouncing and running to Lu Cheng's side. Her fair little hand grabbed Lu Cheng's sleeve and she coquettishly said with sleepy eyes. Why did you come? Lu Cheng was surprised as he was about to comfort Xiao Wu, but his eyes suddenly met a startled ghost. His heart thumped and he thought to himself, it's terrible. This guy is a Ban Doluo. He recognized Xiao Wu's identity. I can't sleep without you holding me. Xiao Wu said pitifully. These days, she had already gotten used to Lu Cheng being by her side. When she woke up and found that Lu Cheng was not there, she came out to search. Ah, who is this uncle? Xiao Wu rubbed her eyes and finally saw a ghostly figure on the side, asking. He 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 he, a soul beast that has been around for 100,000 years, I never expected to see you here. What an unexpected joy. The ghost sneered inwardly, and a terrifying pressure spread from within, spreading throughout the entire playground. I'm still a rigid person, ha 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 my old ghost's luck has come, I can't stop it. The ghost laughed recklessly, staring at Xiao Wu with a gaze that was like staring at her own prey. You. You are a title dolu. Xiao Wu was beautiful and pale, her small hand tightly gripping Lu Cheng's sleeve, as if searching for a glimmer of support. But she knew in her heart that she was likely to die here. The relationship between advanced soul masters and advanced soul beasts is almost inseparable from water and fire. After all, advanced soul masters need to upgrade their soul rings, and every 100,000-year soul beast is a moving treasure. The 100,000-year soul ring and soul bone are extremely rare resources, and the tidal dolua in front of her will never let her go. And the most important thing is that he has become rigid and lacks combat power. Ming and Ming are far away in the star forest, and it will take at least half a day to get here, there is no time at all. Xiaowu's delicate body trembled slightly, her head lowered, and her body tightly pressed against Lu Cheng's side, as if she had assumed that her death was approaching. She's my wife, what are you doing? Lu Cheng protected Xiao Wu behind him, pretending to be foolish and stunned. But the brain is running rapidly. This is indeed his negligence, but he did not expect that the martial soul hall would directly send a title Dolua over. And what he doesn't know is. After receiving the letter reported by Su Yuntao, Bibi Dong had a conclusion in his heart. Lu Cheng's ancient gun can never be a broken gun. As someone with innate full soul power and twin martial souls, she naturally knows what the conditions for innate full soul power mean. So with a wave of his hand, he directly sent the idol ghosts over. Little doll, you actually treat the soul beast as your wife. The ghost heard this and was worried about hurting Lu Cheng, so it withdrew its momentum and burst into laughter. Humans and beasts cannot coexist. You will know when you grow up. Upon hearing this, Xiao Wu lowered her head and dared not look at Lu Cheng's reaction. Red lips clenched, heart wrenching with sadness. After learning the truth, he must have been very disappointed with me. What reaction would Lu Cheng make? He would either shake himself off in fear or look at himself with disappointment and inner pain. A crystal clear teardrop flowed down on Lu Cheng's sleeve. Finally, when she mustered up the courage to face the unknown title Dolua and die. 
A pair of warm palms gently caressed her, wiping away her tears. Xiao Wu lifted her charming cheeks, only to see Lu Cheng's resolute and serious profile. I said, she's my wife. Lu Cheng's eyes were fixed on Gui Dolua without any cowardice. The scene was somewhat silent. The ghost was stunned for a long time before recovering. The smile on his face was a bit stiff. Child, you. I said, she's my wife. Lu Cheng protected Xiao Wu behind him and said word by word. In this lifetime, it will always be. Xiao Wu's tearful eyes were hazy, and she felt the slender figure in front of her being infinitely elevated at this moment. The light emanating from him almost illuminated her world. Sigh. The ghost glanced at Lu Cheng and suddenly felt that his head was as big as a fight. After thinking for a moment, he sighed lightly in his mouth. Child, when you grow up, you will understand me. With a flash of his figure, he quickly arrived behind Lu Cheng, intending to knock him unconscious and take him away. That's a soul beast that lasts for 100,000 years and is extremely difficult to encounter. Although he can't use it anymore, it doesn't prevent the martial soul hall from using it. Love between humans and animals. When this child grows up, he will understand. Soul beasts can only be brought to human dining tables or become human soul rings. There are no other options. Ha! Huh. Just as his palm lightly touched the back of Lu Cheng's neck, the ghost exclaimed in surprise. According to his calculations, this force is enough to make the child fall asleep without harming his body. But looking at the current situation, Lu Cheng still stood in place, without any signs of fainting. Just as the ghost was about to strike again, a flame suddenly surged from within Lu Cheng's body, and a dark red flame rose up and roared, spreading rapidly like a wild beast released from its cage. The frightened expression in the ghostly eyes was even more intense. The body unconsciously retreats backwards. Intuitively, this flame touches the soul directly. Whenever it encounters him, even if he is a super tidal Dolua, there will be considerable trouble. Boom! Flames rise up. The pale blue flames spread from under my feet in all directions, but strangely, these flames did not burn the underground vegetation, but rather wrapped around the surface, like fake flames. Lu Qingsong started a small dance, his feet slowly lifted off the ground, and his figure gradually drifted into mid-air. Eyes fixed on ghosts, with dark red flames dancing in their sockets. Martial Soul Awakening The next moment The flames of the entire playground spread layer by layer, like paying homage to a monarch, crawling at the feet of Lu Cheng, and the whole world seemed to be pulled into a dark red hell. Lu Cheng's figure suddenly grew to an adult state, standing tall and slender in the sky. His eyes gradually turned dark red, and his golden armor covered his entire body. He held a dark red ancient spear and suddenly became bright, his fiery red long tassel swaying with the flames. At this moment, he seemed like a deity. End of this chapter